I mean, I think that, you know, I've, we've been lucky. I mean, look, you can go back to, to my time when I cut my, my teeth as a GA at Kentucky. Um, you know, it was Mike Leach's GA, Hal Mummy was the head coach. Tim Couch was our quarterback, became the first pick in the NFL draft. And then it went from there. You know, you look at the quarterbacks that we had at Texas Tech. I went to Arizona as an offensive coordinator, had Nick Foles, went on to become Super Bowl MVP. You know, went on to Louisiana Tech, had tremendous success with Colby Cameron, set 16 NCAA records. You know, we just had a lot of guys. And went to Cal, had Jared Goff, became the first pick in the draft at Cal. So I've been fortunate to be around good quarterbacks. Um, you know, we think we have had a hand in developing those guys. I think the good thing is, you know, coming to TCU, we feel like we have some really talented guys in the room. Um, you know, you ask about Chandler specifically. You know, I know Chandler well. I had a chance to watch him play at Highland Park High School when I was at SMU. Um, comes from a football background that's very similar to mine. His dad was a head coach. Uh, is kind of one of those kids that grew up hanging around the field house. Um, you know, just one of those guys that loves the game. Um, you know, I think that, that when you go back and you talk to Randy Allen, who was his high school coach, Randy had nothing but great things to say about him. You know, when I talked to Lincoln Riley about Chandler, Lincoln had nothing but great things to say about him. You know, everybody that dealt with him at Oklahoma said the same thing. Look, he's just a great kid, hardworking, loves the game. Uh, and so, you know, when you have talent and you have that passion and you have that football background, that lends itself to, to being very successful. And so we're excited to see what he can do. We're also very excited about Max Duggan. I uh, had a chance to watch Max play up close and personal uh, at TCU when I was at SMU, saw what he could do. Uh, a very tough, tough guy, uh, very athletic, you know, very physical. I think the players really respond and respect the way he plays the game. Um, and then we've got some good, young, talented quarterbacks as well that I'm very excited about. So, you know, that's a position that obviously is incredibly important in today's football world, whether it's seventh grade football or the NFL. You know, you're not going to have a great football team without a great quarterback. And so, you know, to me, when you look at our, our team offensively, you know, you feel good about what we have coming back at running back. You love the tight ends. The strength of our offense, I think, is going to be our offensive line. And the question mark is really the quarterback position. And so we've got to get settled. We've got to do a good job building our scheme around the quarterback strengths. But I think the good thing is we feel incredibly confident that either one of those quarterbacks that we choose can get the job done at a very high level. And so that'll be one of the questions we try to get answered as quickly as possible. You know, people ask me all the time about quarterback battles. How do you know? You know, it's funny. Everybody really knows. You know, the coaches are usually the last ones that know. The players start to know, the equipment managers start to know, the trainers start to know, and then the coaches start to go, well, you know what, maybe this guy's a little bit better than the other guy. You make that decision and everybody goes, well, you could have done this a week ago. That's normally the way it works. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.